a local sailor here in Guanabara Bay. What do you think is the trickiest part of the race course? What is the, the thing that you know and the other guys doesn't? I think the trickiest, trickiest part is deciding. Uh, we sometimes uh, see, see the, the differences, uh, but it's hard to choose and uh, the fleet gets uh, wide open uh, sometimes and uh, you have to uh, choose and risk uh, for some uh, current tides or some shifts and uh, if it doesn't pay off I think uh, you make a, a, a big gain or a big, a big lose. We hurried up to have this South American Championship uh, based in Rio. It's a, a great opportunity as well to improve our sailing since we spend uh, most time of the year without, uh, without top uh, level sailors. So basically training by ourselves. We have really good time here in Rio. Everybody's enjoying the racing and I think it's, uh, it's good for everybody. In the 49er fleet, in first place, we had Peter Berling and Blair Tube from New Zealand. We've got a lot of the top teams from around the world, or in fact, most of the top teams from around the world here. Sort of, I think, 23 or 24 boats, and uh, you know, it's uh, really tight racing, and yeah, it's it's good to be here. I think I love just how close the racing is. To be honest, uh, it's one of those things that you jump back in the 49er, and because it's one design, and you know, everyone's got the same equipment and you have to sail better than the other guy to win a race and uh, that's one of the things that seems to be producing uh, very good sailors in the America's Cup at the moment and when kind of 49er sailors go on to, to sail other boats they tend to do, do pretty well. So I think that's one of the things that just how tight the racing is. It's obviously very fast as well but there's a few other boats that are fast but just yeah, how tight the racing is. What is your sailing background? When you started sailing did your family sail? Tell us a a little about your history. Um, yeah, so my family, my dad sailed when he was a kid and then probably stopped when he was about 18 and went to university and got a job kind of like everyone else and then uh, when I was young um, he actually got my brother a boat and, and got him into it first and then yeah, kind of I just got dragged along to, be, to honestly start with and then yeah, kind of started enjoying it and started really loving the competition. <laughs> In second, Manu Gian and Christy Dizzy Stefan from France. And in third, and being the South American champions from Argentina, Iago Lange and Klaus Lange. I think we say smart and we improve in some team stuff that make us go very well. It's been an awesome week for us, we didn't expect this. We came here to, to learn about Rio, we would like to be here in the future more and more and hopefully in the Olympics, it's a long way but uh, we really like these tricky conditions and the atmosphere here with all the people from Brazil. <laughs>